Today we are going to go over how to create a campaign inside of REI Rail. Campaigns are the way that you manage your marketing efforts, keep track of those marketing efforts, and know who is responding. And particular to our system, how to, this is how you will know what's being said on those calls when people call you back. Let me show you how to get a campaign set up. You can do that from your welcome screen by clicking start a campaign. This will launch the campaign creator wizard. The first question is name the campaign. You'll want to do something very simple and easy to recognize. The next question is, do you want to use our REI rail ringless voicemail drop system? Select yes. If you intend to do that. Next, the system will ask if you have a list. Now you may have one that's already been uploaded into the system, which you could choose, or you can upload a brand new list for this campaign. For the purpose of this example, we're going to assume that you upload a new list. The system is going to ask you to name that list. Again, keep it simple. Click next. Now is the time to upload that list into the system. And you can do that two different ways. You can either browse for it on your computer or you can simply drag and drop. When you do that, you'll notice that our system has immediately gone in and found the headers or the labels at the top of each of your columns. And it's put them here on the left side of the screen. Your job then is to map those headers in your spreadsheet, which has to be a CSV file, by the way, map those to our headers here on the right. And you want to do that to make sure that we are labeling things consistent with what you have labeled them in your list. So first name, of course, we'd go to first name, last name, to last name. We won't go through all of the headers here, but just the critical ones. One thing I want to make sure that we point out is for phones. If you store multiple phone numbers in a given column, or if you have different columns for each phone number, maybe phone one, phone two, and phone three, it doesn't matter to REI rail. You can drag all of those phone columns or just the single one you can drag all of them into our phone header. Be sure, of course, to map the property address, since that is the thing that you'll want to talk to the prospect about when they call you back. Again, we won't go through all of the headers, but you see the process. Once you've done that, you're going to click Next. The system will then ask you if you plan to use our Do Not Call registry. The Do Not Call Registry is a system that's been set up for consumers to opt in and say that they do not want to receive phone solicitation. If you want to make sure that we don't drop ringless voicemails to people who are on that list, click Yes. The next step in the process is going to be to get a tracking number. Now, tracking numbers are the way that we're able to record your phone calls, and to let you review them in the call activity screen and also run analytics on them. And it's also the way that our seller ID feature is able to go and gather lots of other information about your caller. Best practice around tracking numbers is to have a different tracking number for each campaign. When you begin to use the same tracking number over and over again for multiple campaigns, it makes it difficult for you to keep track of where your leads are coming from. So for the purpose of this example, we're going to create a new tracking number. Another thing in terms of best practice, when you're calling a list, you want to have a local phone number if at all possible. And REI Rail allows you to do that. So if you're calling the DC area, for example, you'll want to have a 202 or a 301 or some other area code that is going to be familiar to your, uh, to your prospect. Here we've chosen 301. Next, you're going to tell us where you want us to forward the calls that come in, the callbacks. So while your prospect will call the tracking number that's going to be generated here in a moment, you want to receive the call on your personal phone, your personal or your work or your cell phone. And that's the number you're going to put right here. And that's it. You have completed all the steps to create a campaign. This is just a confirmation screen to make sure that the system has gathered everything correctly in terms of the name of the campaign, what type of list it was, uh, the area code that you've requested, where you would like your return calls forwarded, 
and whether you will be using RBM and whether or not you like to scrub against the do not call registry. If you're satisfied with everything you see here in this check screen, just click create my campaign and you're done. The next step will be to record your voicemail for that campaign. Watch the next video to learn how to do that.